Hello everyone, this is Lena with Especially Made For Me. We're going to be working on a Valentine centerpiece today that can also be used as a mini wreath or vice versa, <laughs> same thing. Um, but we're going to show you just a, a quick way of doing a mini wreath that can be used as a centerpiece. Um, so you can kind of switch it back and forth or decide, you know, if you want to use it as a door uh, hanger or mini wreath and use it as a centerpiece a different year just to... Um, make it seem like a different project altogether, we'll be able to do that. Uh, for that, we are going to need three rolls of the three yard um, deco mesh that they sell at the dollar store. Um, dollar Tree is where I got these. So you're gonna need three of your color of preference that you want to use for whether it would do Valentine's that we're gonna be doing today or could be Mardi Gras or um, whatever holiday or season. And then we're also going to need one each of two others different colors that will match the theme. In this case, I got two different pink variations. So we have like a, a very, almost like a fuchsia pink and then a very light pink. And you're also going to need some wired ribbon for your project. Something that will have some of the same colors, maybe some hearts or you can kind of add a little bit of white like I'm doing with that ribbon or get the specific colors to match um, your project. So you can decide on the ribbon, just something to kind of highlight. We're going to be making almost like a little flower, I guess. Um, we're going to make three bundles and we're also going to be using a ruffle method um, with the main color that we're going to be using, which you'll need three of those. Now the dollar store, their uh, rolls are three yard, three yard, <laughs> they're three yards long. Um, and these are the ones that look like they, they're like the snow snowdrift ones, I think is what they're called. Um, they're decorative mesh, and um, you'll see what I mean here in a second. So for those, we're going to need the full roll just as is. And the ones that you have this in the single colors, we're going to be cutting them. We need three pieces of each. So you're going to need that. You're going to also need your mini wreath form. These they also have at the dollar store. Um, they normally come two uh, per pack. So you can actually save a little bit there. You can make multiple wreaths um, because you won't use your single ones all the way since we're only going to be using three pieces. But we will use all three rolls of the main color one. So that's pretty much all you're going to need as far as supplies. You will need, of course, your rotary cutter or some scissors or something that you can cut the other mesh with and um, some scissors to cut your ribbon. So that's going to be for our project. Before I continue, if you haven't already done so, be sure to give me thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and click on that bell so you'll be notified of when we go live or do a new upload or an update. And if you haven't already subscribed to our email list, I would recommend you do so. And this is why. Um, and also for those of you that are subscribed to the email, in case you haven't seen the email that went out um, uh, not too long ago, we have a couple of more weeks left, I think, before we have the drawing. But we are giving away a kit for you to make a Valentine craft so it's going to come with the sign and it's got the little owls and it says you're a hoot happy valentine's day and then it's got the to and from at the bottom and we have the ribbons of course to match now this is going to be the signs and the ribbons only not the wreath form so you're going to be getting quite a few <laughs> yards of ribbon <laughs> i already had them cut in the yards and i removed the actual scheme so it'll be easier for shipping because that will be the only thing you would pay for if you win the um win the drawing so the way to participate in the drawing in case you have not seen that email do check it out there are some instructions the more you share the link for our tutorials and people put the specific comment on there <laughs> uh, with the hashtag the more you'll be entered in the drawing and the more chances you'll have to uh, win so Read that email if you're on that email list. And for those of you that have not subscribed, please do subscribe because I do send out uh, certain things kind of like this drawing, do updates on what's been uploaded to the shop and give out different uh, discounts and different things. So do join so that way you won't miss out on the next one. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and change the view of the camera so we can go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the 
three pieces that we need from this color this one is the light pink one and you just need I'm gonna go with maybe eight inches eight to ten inches so I'm gonna go here with ten just because I want to make sure it stands out a little bit more since we're gonna be using two colors so we're gonna cut three pieces at ten inches and you can cut these either way <laughs> I'm just a little bit hard there for for me so I'm gonna just go to the 10 inch and give it a cut and if you have one of these wonderful boards makes it a lot easier because then you can just keep cutting and we're going to be making three bundles with these to get our centerpiece going so that's our light pink there. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one out of the way. And we don't need but the one. And then we're gonna get our other louder pink. <laughs> and cut our pieces for that. Ow, sorry, I hurt my thumb not so long ago and depending on how I move it and how I put pressure on it, it hurts like crazy. Um, so we're going to cut our other three pieces of this one, if I can find our little edge. It does stick together very well. I don't know if it's because of that snow. Let's see if I can, well, when I change the, the camera view, which I will do here in a second, I just thought with the cutting, it's easier for you to see it this way. <laughs> and this is the only one we'll have to cut. for our little bundle. So again, at 10 inches, and we just need three of each. Cut this thing off in the beginning there. So these are gonna be kinda like leaves may look like a flower with the ribbon mixed in. Get that out of the way. And we're going to need three of these. And I normally cut these also at 10 inches. But I think I'm going to go to 12. And if it's too long, we could always cut it. So again, we'll just need three cuts. So you can definitely make lots. And actually, I don't know what's going on with this ribbon there. It looks like they combine two together. So let me go to 10 and just see if I can get around that without it looking too funky. Yes, I can. So I'm going to go right where it's at. So I'm going to make it more like 11 inches. And that is just because it looks like they glued <laughs> two sets of ribbons together. To make it the the yards that they wanted to have so to make sure they're all the same I'm just gonna fold it and then measure the other one with the actual ribbon adapt and overcome <laughs> easy peasy okay so now that we have our three, we can put that to the side and move our ribbon out of the way. Okay. There we go. No more cutting needed. I'm going to put this thing out of the way so I won't hit something accidentally. <laughs> So we're not going to need any chenille stems or anything like that, but I do suggest maybe using um, some zip ties for the beginning. If you feel you, um, you may need some extra security on there uh, just for keeping it in place. But the way that we're gonna do this, it's not 100% necessary. So if you want to add a little bit extra security there. again okay 
So we are going to put this on our, I'm actually going to take one of these out to get it out of the way. Okay. And we could, well, either way, depending on, I'm going to go ahead and turn this over just because I'm noticing that it's got more snow on one side. So, and we want that to be seen. So I'm going to go ahead and change the view here in a second. I know I've said that a couple of times already, <laughs> but I want you to be able to see in both angles. And I know once I change the view, like I normally do, where we have the bird side view so you can see the top of the working table and then me to one corner you'll be able to see the top view a lot better than you can on that little smaller section so i want to make sure you can see what i'm doing on both so that's why i'm starting this way so all we need to do here to get this started for our ruffle uh, within our wreath form you're going to fold your mesh in half sort of okay just so that you can see where you're where your edges are and you're going to run it see how we have three different metal pieces on the you know the three different rims we're going to be using that middle one so you're going to run one side through one in the middle and the other side on the other side of that middle rim so you basically have your mesh now in half but you have that rim in the middle of it so it doesn't come off if you pull both sides at the same time okay so i'm going to show that from the other angle and then have our multiple view give me just a second here and we'll see if we can so you should still be able to see me on the corner and then have a top view of the work table so you will still see everything i have on the table while we're working okay so what I did was run, once I folded it so I know where my edges are, I have it right on the middle where that middle rim is in between. So I just basically ran it, I'm gonna do that again. Just kind of run it through in the middle, kind of bring it all the way around, and now you have half on each side so that the middle rim is in between your mesh since it's folded in half, okay? So this is where I say you could do the uh, this zip tie you could kind of just scrunch it there and use your zip tie to secure it or you can leave it as is okay reason I say that is because we're going to be ruffling this in and it's going to get tighter and tighter as we go and you're basically going to have one full roll see how the wreath form is divided into three you're going to have one full roll in each one of these sections and we're going to keep on ruffling it in and the way to do that is we're just going to be pulling as we go okay we have our two halves and we're going to just be pulling our roll and kind of grabbing it so it'll ruffle takes a little bit of playing but you you can get it just by continuing to pull and if your roll starts to kind of snag just kind of unroll some and keep on going and all you're doing is just pulling that through. I use my other hand just to kind of grab it so that we'll have more space here. And as you get closer to the end of that section, the tighter it'll be. So you'll really have to kind of, you know, pull to give yourself some room. And once you let it go, it'll be nice and tight, but it'll cover the whole area. Okay, continuing on. Grab your two edges and just pull from the roll. You're just pulling it in and grabbing it with your other hand. You can let go if you'd like and just kind of concentrate on your, on pulling the, the mesh through. Do what, what's most comfortable to you. I'm trying to get to my edges here because it makes it easier when you grab it on the edge to pull through. There we go. And we're almost done just that quickly okay so I'm just kind of pulling and making sure I'm pulling both halves and I can just continue to pull through 
And once you get to the end of the mesh, just pull it all the way out so you won't have that pressure like, pulling away from you. And then go back to your edge or edges, should I say, and continue to pull. Now, if you're not able to see that from the work table, these snowdrift mesh rolls can be very messy because as you're pulling it, some of those little snow pebbles um, do come off. So it does make a little bit of a mess. They do have these in different colors depending um, based on the season that we're on. So right now they have a lot of the pinks and the whites and the reds. Uh, I know for Christmas they had lots of the red and the green and different things like that. So be on the lookout for those if you like to use these as a simple way to do a centerpiece. I'm having to bring that back around. There we go. <laughs> it was trying to sneak away from me since it's not on the roll anymore. And then just keep pulling all the way until you get the full mesh in there. The full roll. give yourself some more room to bring it all the way in and just keep those edges one on each side So once you have it all in, then you can pull back through to make, get it in there nice and tight and you can open it up some or you can leave it flat depending on the look that you want to achieve. There's no set, you know, rules, no law. <laughs> Just go by what you like. Can play with it again some more once you do the other so that's just with one side now you could also if you notice just as we have it now you can leave it just with one side on the bottom and then do a bow on top or do any other decorations on top and leave it as this and you can use that as a door hanger just as is we're going to fill it in for today's project and we're going to go all the way around okay so now that we did one we're going to repeat the same process we did for this one, we're going to repeat it and do it on the other two sections. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. We have all three rolls put into or ruffled into our wreath form. So then you can fluff it as you need to. I kind of wait until I add my other three pieces that we're going to be working on as a bundle. And we're going to be adding them. I'm going to turn this around where we have our crossbars is where we're going to be going to add our three bundles so I mentioned earlier about how messy this thing can be because all of these no drift things or whatever they're called do come out as we're pulling and working the ruffles but just takes a little bit of wiping and then we can throw it all away I'll just kind of move my little trash can here so it'll catch it Okay, so there's our wreath form. Now you could also, of course, depending on your colors, again, just match it with your season, holiday, and occasion that you're making these with. Like this one with the red and the white would be perfect for Christmas as well. I like a peppermint and just add your decorations accordingly. So we're going to work on our bundle. So I'm going to move our cut pieces a little bit closer and move this with our little mini wreath out of the way so for this part we will need some um, chenille stems and I'm going to go with red so we're only going to need three pieces cut in half so basically you can cut two chenille stems cut them in half and you'll have four pieces but you only need three okay I have one from a different project that I made, so I'm only going to use one and cut it in half. 
and again this is the only time you're gonna need some stems pipe cleaners chanel stems <laughs> okay and this is it for what you're going to need so decisions decisions right <laughs> so now we can turn these over and we're going to get the corners the opposite corners and bring them somewhat to the middle so it looks somewhat like that and then we're going to just scrunch that middle together kind of like making a little ruffle and now we have like a little set of leaves okay you can hold that together in between your fingers or use your bodabra to clip it um, hold it together or use a clip and hold it together okay going to get another one of the other color so we'll have both colors in here and again we're just going to get these corners somewhat to the middle it doesn't have to be exact because we're going to be ruffle doing that little ruffle ruffle it in and now we have our other set of leaves that are going to be crossed over so now we have the two and the two so we have four different leaves and we're going to have of course our ribbon excuse me so we're going to find where our little middle is and I'm, i apologize i did not dovetail my excuse me my ribbon so i'm going to do that now and I want to make sure that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just getting the edges together. I'm going to fold it in half. And that way I can do all of them at the same time. And then we're going to cut diagonally from the middle to those corners. And now we have our dovetails. Okay. Get to our middle. You could scrunch that if you like. Or just put it together and then scrunch it later entirely up to you and that's going to be right in the middle and then we're just going to tie that together with our chenille stem pipe cleaner we're going to go right in the middle and we're going to pull okay and give it a nice tight twist twist it a couple of times to make sure it's nice and tight and now we have our bundle and that's all it is so what I like to do is pull the opposite colors on the mesh and have our ribbon in the middle and now we have our little bundle okay let's do the other two I'm gonna go ahead and get these dovetailed while we're at it again just getting the edges together I'm going to fold it in half and cut from the middle to those little corners and we have our dovetails okay going to the middle with our little corners of our mesh and we're just going to ruffle and there's our first one it's all real quick isn't it it doesn't take long it's fairly easy what takes the longest and not that long at all is just working the ruffle into your wreath form but that is not bad at all didn't take long Just going around our bundle or to make our bundle go right to the middle we're going to pull nice and tight and twist and there's our next bundle okay and again just grabbing the different colors and just kind of tugging on it so we'll have one of each color on both sides and our ribbon is in the middle and then it'll curve we just give it a little curl and we can re-fluff it again once we put it on our wreath form okay last one again doesn't have to be exact we're just going to go towards the middle 
the idea is just to kind of have the two ends together here and make sure that it kind of overlaps and folds and we're going to do the same thing with both pieces And they're gonna kind of crisscross get the middle of our ribbon and ruffle it in and then we're gonna secure it with our half of chenille stem pull and twist Okay, so now we have our three little bundles. I thought I had brought my candle so I can kind of show you what it will look like once we're done and I don't see it. <laughs> okay, so here's our wreath form with our ruffles. Okay, nice and full. This is where our candle can go if we use a centerpiece or if you want to put a flower vase with an arrangement, you could do that as well. Put some valentine's pick pretty much anything goes depending on what decor you want to use okay these we're going to be attaching i mentioned on those crossbars so what we'll do we're going to come here and find that crossbar just pull this apart just a little so you can come in here where that crossbar is and we're going to feed these two pieces of our chenille stem right through that middle you can hold that there and then we're just going to twist here in the back to make sure it's secure okay and that way it won't move won't go anywhere it'll just add some extra pressure against our mesh so it'll stay put now you can either cut the excess or fold it in or do a little bit of both of that chenille stem because we're not going to need it after this okay and just tuck it under and then you can bring your mesh right back in and that covers that and then you can play with how you want your ribbon to display on here and the rest of your mesh of the other two colors okay going on to the next one we're going to find where our crossbar is pull apart a little bit so you'll be able to get to it I'm going to work that in using our chenille stem using that metal rim and that crossbar and just give it a couple of twists or two or three or four Charlie up to you <laughs> just enough for it to be secure Cut any excess and just tuck it in and again just get to your stems once you bring your mesh back in separate your two colors put that ribbon in between give it a little curl however you like to shape it okay and last one again find your crossbar we're going to grab and pull apart a little bit and then just twist in the back you can either do it with your fingers or do like i did earlier <laughs> Whatever is easiest for you. Again, no rules. <laughs> Whatever your preference may be. Cut some of that excess and tuck it in. And you could either bring your mesh in from back here or do it from the front. Matters not. Entirely up to you. And there it is folks just that quick and easy shape your ribbon and you're done 
if you want to add more embellishments you definitely can but just quick and easy isn't it cute very simple centerpiece that you could also hang on a door as a mini wreath and that's it so you can make lots of these <laughs> I did, let's see, we have to do some arrangements for an event for someone for Christmas. And I can't remember, let's see, they had, I think it was 20 tables. So it really doesn't take long, I guess is what I'm trying to say. You can make a lot of these fairly easy just by doing this method. I'm gonna go ahead and just change the, the view again. Hello, so I can show this to you at a different angle. Just holding it up as a mini wreath. And of course, if you do it as a centerpiece, it will be on a table. Quick and easy, y'all. And again, you could add more embellishments if you like to add some little hearts and you know little things to glue on here if you wanna do that. You can definitely do that or keep it nice and simple. And then do a candle in the middle or a flower arrangement or do you know put some Valentine's pick in there. And it's pretty much done for your centerpiece, so. I hope you like it and I hope you learned something new, maybe giving you some ideas on other projects you can make this way as well. And uh, just change your colors and your ribbons and all that to match the season, holiday or event. This will be also a wonderful thing to do for weddings. Hint, hint. <laughs> uh, something quick and easy you could do just to dress up a table, put a, a glass container in there, throw some pebbles and some picks or do some candles, you know, lots of different things you can do. Um, Mardi Gras is coming up as well for those that do Mardi Gras. So lots of different things. Do your, you know, purple and your green and your gold and keep it going. <laughs> if you do make this project or it gives an, uh, an idea for you to make um, something similar or just, you know, if you've had some supplies at home and just had no idea what to do with it and this has given you the idea let us know via comment ask any questions i do check them if you're not watching live and you watch the replay later just let me know pound hashtag <laughs> replay ask your question let me know where you're watching from even um share your first name if you're comfortable with that that's just one way for us to get to know each other a little bit better but do um, share pictures on social media do the hashtag and do especially made for me the number four <laughs> or em4m um, and share those pictures so that we can see what you're making let's keep on making wonderful beautiful creations and just spreading the beauty in, in our world and all this chaos and different things that's that are going on let's spread some cheer <laughs> through our creations so until next time Hope you join me. We'll be here again making another wonderful project. Don't forget, if you haven't signed up to that email list, do so so you won't miss, miss out on these um, giveaways and important information on uh, sales and specials and different things that we have going on and even when we might be you know, in different areas doing it our, our shows. We do vendor shows uh, pretty regularly. We try to. <laughs> so until next time, stay safe. Stay liquid. Keep creating. Bye-bye. <laughs>